Hello peeps, welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved. Today, we are taking a look at the bioweapon. Exceptionally lethal pathogen that kills everything it touches. And we have unlocked an ionized helix. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that one of these ones? Oh, it is! Bonus DNA when devolving. Mm, I'm probably not going to use it, but sure, I'll put it in, because I, I was not going to be putting anything else in there. Okay, so let's have a look at the genetic code modifiers I've chosen. Get more DNA from popping red biohazard bubbles, because that's pretty cool. Uh, your plague is harder to cure, which is always useful. Uh, we're, I'm going to go with Aquasite this time. Increases chance of plague spreading by sea. Because it's a bioweapon, I feel like that should be a thing. Uh, Extremophile. Give your plague a minor bonus in all environments. Uh, I figure that's probably a good one to go with. And obviously we've just picked up the Ionized Helix, which gives us bonus DNA when devolving. Not likely to do much devolving, I don't think, but... Uh, We'll see. So, uh, let's go on to normal as per usual. Uh, and because it kills everything it touches, I figured that Midas would be a good name because obviously Midas, uh, everything that he touched turned into gold. Um, and this is kind of like the anti Midas, if you like. But I thought Midas was a pretty cool name for it. So, that's what I'm going with. Okay, you are a new bioweapon. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, rubbing out all humans in the ultimate plague. So where are we going to start? Well, because we've got a bonus to... A, a small bonus to wherever we like. Location isn't going to matter that much. What is going to matter is uh, how we can spread and how easily we can get uh, to other countries. So because I've got the bonus to uh, spreading by water, we could go for some of these small islands down here, maybe the Philippines or Indonesia. Or we could go with a country that's got uh, two ports. So we've got Egypt up here, which has got two ports, which is pretty cool, which is, and it's got an airport as well. And there's a lot of land that it can uh, attach itself to down here. Or we could go with... Um, so it's Argentina, it's got two ports, and obviously South America's got a large population. Um, I think... I think Egypt is probably the best bet, because of the fact that it's got two ports. Uh, it's got two ports and an airport. So I think that's where we're going to start it. Okay, Midas begins in Egypt. We can use to hot temperatures, it must evolve to say alive. Okay, so Midas is a bioweapon that was accidentally released. You will automatically become more lethal over time. Can you infect everyone before you kill all your characters? So the idea is that the leth lethality of this will go up uh, slowly as time goes on. Um, and I shall show you, once we get some points, um, how that affects uh, the game. Ships use new sterilizing clean cleaning techniques. No! Only advanced waterborne diseases can survive on them. No! It's not what we wanted. Okay. So, transmission, same as usual. Symptoms, same as usual. Abilities, slightly different. Okay, so we've got uh, this one, which reduces the likelihood of lethal genes becoming unlocked over time. So that's going to slow down the uh, lethality Increase, increase. We've got uh, this one, which reduces the lethality by deactivating. So this one uh, is like a genetic reshuffle, but for lethality. Uh, this one will slow it down, and then we've got this one, which resets it all for a, a, a small time, uh, and then it will go back up again. So, yeah. So it's pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to take this one for the moment because uh, it's only one DNA point. And we'll take this one, which is four DNA points, and
and then we'll get this one after that, which is seven DNA points. And that should hopefully slow le lethality enough f f that we can uh, get to infect people before uh, it kills it, everyone. Researchers have calculated that it takes longer than expected for radioactive fluids with a half-life... Oh, this is the half-life 3. Uh, yeah, half-life 3 reference. Yeah, got that. Thanks. Midas is spreading from person to person in Egypt and will grow exponentially. Right, let's get this one as well. Okay, then we'll get some... I think we'll get some drug resistance. So 14. We'll get some drug resistance. Um, and... Uh, and then I think we're good to go and start spreading. We'll get some drug resistance. We'll get the uh, the one that increases chance to go by water. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get a few other minor bits as well. What's that? 14, that's enough. Drug resistance, we'll take that. Thank you very much. I haven't killed anyone yet, which is nice. Midas infects hundreds. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Okay, we're up to 12 points now. Lethality is getting is creeping up. Um, so we need to. It's uh, what's that? We'll get some of that and let's get let's get some rash going on. Um, now down here is necrosis, which uh, it increases lethality quite a lot, but it also gives corpses the chance to still infect other people. I think that's going to be uh, one of the key. Um, oh, good upgrade lets chips be infected again. I think that's going to be one of the key features, one of the key symptoms, um, is still having corpses be able to uh, infect other people. And I think that's going to be quite an important symptom to get with this one because we're going to be killing lots of people uh, fairly early as you can see we've already started killing people it's nothing too major at the moment but that starts that's going to start going up quite quickly if we um, if we don't be careful okay we got uh, minus in the USA so that's good okay once that starts getting up a bit higher we might have to um, look at changing some of the abilities oh okay yeah that's up to 88 let's um let's go into the abilities let's uh use that to evolve it so that it will half the lethality and we've got eight dna points left let's get some sweating no one likes sweating okay heavy flooding in the uk oh there's a surprise <laughs> Okay, so that's good. The sweating won't really help me that much in Egypt, um, but it will help uh, in some of the colder climate countries. Oh. Yep, the London Olympics, pop red bubbles, I'm popping them. Popping them, popping them, popping them. Pop dumps. All right, where are you going? South Africa, excellent. And the UK, good. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got 23 points to play with. Uh, let's go back in here. Let's get the second water. And let's get some coughing, because everyone hates coughing. Midas is killing very fast. Yeah, that will slow down soon. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we really are going to have to... Um, we really are going to have to do something about that. First death in Egypt. I think they've been dying in Egypt for quite a long time. Yes, there's 11,000 have died already. So we need to we need to fix that. We need some we need some red bubbles, please. Red bubbles, flex blocks. Some free pneumonia. Excellent. Egypt has started working on a cure. Okay, let's uh, go back into abilities. Let's uh, devolve that so that it's not. It's not lethal at all right now. And that's great. Good. That should hopefully reduce the amount of people dying. Or not. It's still people are dying. I'm not even sure why or how. 
Wow, okay, there we go. Lots of bubbles. Good. Good, good. That's what I like to see. Lots of bubbles going up. Okay, the infection rate is going up. People are becoming infected. Wow, we've got loads of points. Okay. Um, hmm. We'll get this because, as per usual, we always get it because, you know, that's, that's how this works. Uh, let's get some air. Can we get this one as well? Yes. Okay, that should hopefully mean that we can get to all the little islands uh, all dotted about with any luck um, and spread ourselves out a bit. Okay, but I think we're pretty much everywhere. Oh my god. So many bubbles, so many bubbles, so many bubbles. Right, let's just... Okay, let's just pause it for a second. Uh, let's go into the world menu. Uh, Greenland, Peru, Peru will go soon enough. Uh, most of the European countries, and the, it's these, this country, this over here, what's that? Uh, the Philippines. That's where we need to get to. They're, that's, they're the problem, going to be the problem ones. The Greenland and the Philippines, we need to keep an eye on those. Everywhere else is surrounded by other countries that have got infections, so I'm not too worried about those. Um, okay, let's uh, take a look at this. Let's use this one. Reset lethal potential of weapon. will take time to regenerate. Let's take that. Um, let's take some genetic hardening, just because they've just started working on the cure. That might slow them down a little bit. We'll get some sneezing, because that'll increase infectivity quite a lot. Um, and uh, skin lesions, hugely infective. Uh, the severity goes up by quite a lot though, so this will start getting people noticed, but it gives us that doorway into necrosis, um, which is pretty cool. That's 32 points. We've still got 25 points though, so... Um, I don't know. Maybe some nausea. Mm, I don't know. Mm. It's difficult to know. Thirteen for that one. Uh, let's just leave it for the moment. Let's um, let's see how we get on. Okay, we've got infection in the Philippines now, so that's good. Have we got infection in the Caribbean? We do. Madagascar's already gone, so that's great. So we just need to get something into Greenland. Spain has shut down its airports. That's fine. I don't need airports. I need a ship. I need a ship to go to Greenland, please. Come on. There we go. Good. Okay, that's good. That's great. Oh. There's heavy flooding in Canada. That's that's good. That should hopefully spread our disease a bit more. In Canada, then. Okay, let's just get another genetic hardening. Because we've got the points to do it, so why not? Um... Let's just, I just want to check. Okay, so we have infected, we've infected everything. We've infected everyone and everything. Okay, good. Um, let's, we've got 126 points. I feel like we should, just, like, use these a bit. Let's, um, let's use these to try and slow down their cure rate. I think I might just, I might just use necrosis. I think everyone's going to have, like, dead things. Uh soon I think and then let's get that one which will reduce that and we'll use that one which will uh, do it a bit more and then we'll unpause it so people will start dying off but the uh, yeah that's fine I, it doesn't matter now I think as long as we can infect these last few countries fairly quickly uh, we should be okay it's only 7% on the cure which is fine Okay, let's let's get this one. Um, let's not get that one. And then we'll get this one uh, once everyone has been infected. 
which just kills everything because the lethality just goes through the roof. So um, let's just make sure that uh, we're as infectious as can be. Let's get some of that. Uh, which one's more infectious? Abscesses, yeah, let's get some abscesses. Tumors, it's not that effective. Uh, anemia, no, actually, let's not get any more for the time being because we want to make sure that we've got enough for that, which is 23 points. So, okay, killed more than the Black Death. Okay, so we're already killing lots of people, we've already killed 48, 49, 50 million people. So, um, UK has begun to break down due to Midas. Cure research is starting to slow. That's fine. I don't think they're going to stand much of a chance, to be honest. <laughs> I think Midas being placed on the watch list is a little bit too late. Yep, we know about the blue bubbles. Let's take them out. It's the creepy girl singing. Hooray! That's what we want. 25% complete on the cure. Oh no! Come on, Greenland, what's going on here? 19 people are infected, and that's it. 80. Right, that's it. That's it. Let's get some of that going on. Don't have enough points now to kill everyone off in one go. Come on, Greenland, we need. We need you to... There we go, Greenland. Come on now. We're all, re we're all waiting on you, Greenland. You're literally the last country. That everyone's waiting for you. <coughs> Midas mutating patterns extraordinary. Our RMS researchers say that this setback will damage cure efforts. Yep, it will. Okay, there we go, Greenland. There we go. That's what we like to see. So 50% though, that's not good. Okay, how much is this on? 24. Damn. We may have a problem. Uh, oh, can we... Um, Refund four DNA points. Yes, because we don't need that anymore. And yes, we don't need that anymore. And yes, we don't need that anymore. So now we've got 25 points, which is enough. Because that was 24 points. Alright, so once Greenland has finished faffing around and uh, has uh, infected everyone, we just flick the switch. It's essentially like a life support system. I'll just turn it off. Okay, is that everyone? Who isn't infected yet? Where where is this? Where are these people? Hmm? Where are they? Where the hell are they? Oh! No. Oh, Iceland? Oh, you tricksy. Tricksy Iceland. People in Greenland are extremely paranoid and refuse to cooperate fully with the global cure effort. Good. Okay, there are no healthy people left. Let's pop that. Let's pop that. Let's pop that. Then we'll go in here and boom. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> Look how fast that's going down. <laughs> oh my god. Norway is first to fall into anarchy. I think it's a bit late to fall into anarchy now. Look, everyone's died. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. That was pretty quick. <laughs> Midas to destroy humanity. Yeah, I know. And that's it. 
<laughs> that was so fast. That was so, so fast. Well, that was the bioweapon. Oh my god. That was a, a lot faster than I was expecting it to be. Thanks very much for watching, peeps. Uh, you just witnessed the end of all life on Earth. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's good. I'm not quite sure how you witnessed the end of everyone dying. Uh, that would be a bit weird. I guess, I guess you survived. Congratulations on surviving. Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you did it. You must have just not gone outside and spoken to anyone. In fact, that's the gamers will be gamers will be the uh, the, the surviving force because uh, we don't go outside much and we just talk to people on the internet uh, unless they can uh, send uh, like a nanovirus through the internet into our computers and then into our headphones into our brains. That's the only way they're gonna get us. It's the only way they're going to guess. Uh, Viva La Resistance. Or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.